What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Peas World. Let's get straight into it. Not that my content reaches a lot of men because I have an IQ of 130, Stupid. but I want the men in this country to know that half the female population, we're dry. <laughs> we're probably going to stay dry. I'm dry as a desert, baby. <laughs> what? And I don't want it to change. Mm. Yeah, we're not going to like you anymore. You understand that? Like, it doesn't matter if you if you take away abortion. Like, we'll want to have your babies even less, right? Even well, is it that, isn't this the greatest form of natural selection? All the man-hating women are getting out of the gene pool, and the women that love men are going to be getting in relationships. Do they not realize they're self-sabotaging? You take away contraception. Like, women are really good at celibacy because you guys are actually a threat to us. So we have a lot less to gain from you. So yeah, 4B all the way. Let's make some money, I guess. That's all we can do now. Having an IQ. What? <laughs> Let's make some money. Man, she really got us, guys. She really got us. I like how women are now on the 4B movement because Donald Trump won as if that's like a diss. First off, a lot of y'all women probably already posted your half-naked body online in bikinis or whatnot, so people already seen it, so no mystery there. Second- This girl is so based, I love her, she's awesome. You probably already been ran through more times than a choo-choo train, so... <laughs> she's a runner, she's a track star. Let her cook. So the body that you're withholding, men are already smashed. You're not really hurting anybody with this. Uh, actually, you're probably helping yourself a lot because, you know, you can just stop your body count right where it is. You can <laughs> never make it go lower, but at least you can quit it. You know, you can stop, halt, pause. You can't get, you know, don't let it get worse. At least there's that. And I'm honestly glad that Donald Trump won because a lot of you fatherless women got the message, you know, somehow at least. He didn't really get there the way it should have, but it got there. She went too far. Bro, she is cooking. This girl, I gotta go check out her account here in a bit just to see, because I know she probably got more content. But that's over. Can we start focusing on the more fucking important shit here? Because Is she okay? I know she ain't talking about us. She ain't talking about us. Uh -uh. No, no, that's for you, boo-boo. And how do you still have a concept of a plan and not an actual plan? Did you really come to us and say, can we, who is we? Is I, what do you mean who is we? The sisterhood, no? She's talking to the sisterhood. Let's focus on the real problems. Y'all, they speak in French, and I'm from America. No, baby. I'm cold. We're not, we're not doing it. Did you see her follow-up video? She was like, I know what y'all would have done during slavery. I'm, I'm sure that uh, we know what we would have been dealing with during slavery. What would your white ass be doing during slavery? I'm, it, I'm just wondering, just wondering what's happening. I know what I would have been doing during slavery, this. Uh-huh, exactly. <laughs> Um, anyway, we're going to try to uh, go inside and have some discussions with members of Congress to save some semblance of democracy because we, we actually make plans. Okay. And we not, have our not own concepts, not concepts of a plan. We have work to do, but you, you can handle that. You can handle that. Girl, how did they That's deserve? all you, all you. All I'm going to say is... You know what? I love it. And I don't care if they're Republican or Democrat. I'm all for ladies getting there and having those discussions and making those changes. So good on those two women right there. I'm black. Not PLC. We are not the same. Don't ever put us in the same. We are not. We are not. I'm black. I'm black. Oh, man. Look, this is all your own. Man. Honestly, that's how Cass identifies. She's like, don't call me a person of color. Call me black. That funny. The same black women that be on this app. Screaming. Girl, get you a white man. Get you a white man. Girl, you better get you a white man. They treat you better. <laughs> get you a white man, girl. Where are the divesters? That's who I haven't seen. They have been dead quiet. Where are the divesters? They got MIA. Where they at? I know the dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt in an accident. Have you ever found yourself involved in a personal injury case? As an image consultant, I meet a lot of clients who are actually recovering from all sorts of injuries, from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was actually surprised to see at how many people lose their personal injury cases, which is why I want to talk about Morgan and Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they've won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, 
they're going to fight for the money that you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan solidified verdicts in Florida for $12 million and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is, it's all free unless you win your case. Now, if you've also been the victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi, found in the description below, where you can start your free claim today. I'm going to just call it exactly what it is. Kamala Harris has been running a whole campaign. Shots fired! <laughs> Now, let me put my disclaimer out there. This is intended for entertainment purposes only. These are my own thoughts and my own opinions. Since Kamala Harris stepped foot in this race, the only thing that she has been promoting to young women is whole activities. From the performances of Meg Thee Stallion to the speeches of Cardi B, as if we don't know how all of these women have been operating in the industry, tells you one thing. This is not about no reproductive rights. This is about whole activity rights. Y'all can be mm. mad with me if you want to, but it's the truth. For the old women that have had that type of lifestyle already, I'm not talking to y'all. These are also the same women that get on the internet and be crying about how when they 60 years old pushing how they need a man and how they want a man. Vivica Fox. I want to talk to the younger women because in the Bible- Vivica Fox, man, she blew the best years of her life, poor baby. <laughs> She had a shot, she really did, but now she's like 60 talking about, I want to settle down. I want a good man. Baby girl, that ship has sailed. It says that the wise women will teach the young women. And you got a lot of these older women that wants to compete with these young women and they don't have any wisdom to give you. What is this? What's this? Well, I've always said this, man. Age doesn't constitute maturity, bro. You can be old and childish. These women that she has put in front of you for her campaign all have relationship issues, issues with their reputation, issues with their, some alleged activities, P. Diddy, to go on. These are no women to be listening to or looking up to at all. They all have had to do some strange things for some change in order to make it. Harlotry is something that never ends well for women. Now you can listen to these bitter old women if you want to look in my opinion harlotry i've never heard it her, her, oh, never heard it called harlotry i've heard of a harlot but never harlotry it's the art of harlot <laughs> then y'all talking about some yeah let's do the 4b plan where we don't talk to men we don't date we don't kiss we don't look we don't touch we don't bitch i don't want to do that shit the fuck <laughs> like what y'all already pissing me off enough with this election shit y'all talking about something oh yeah and ladies no i don't want to do that shit bitch I just want to like, bitch, what the fuck? Like, what? I don't want to do no 4B shit. I don't want to do that shit. I love my man. What are y'all talking about? Like, what the fuck? I want... I love to see it. There's a lot of women out there in happy relationships. Cass is one of them. Um, but it, I guess it really just depends on your beliefs. So, I, I, I'm always a firm believer of you attract what you are, and if you have a lot of hatred in your heart, more than likely it's what you're going to attract. And... Here's how here's how I've as I've gotten older, here's how, Loki, can we not lick under grundles, please? Thank you so much. We're on camera. We don't lick peepees. Thank you. Um, but here's how you really can judge someone. Don't judge them on, on how they treat strangers. Judge them on how they treat the people closest to them, their family members. Right? Because me and Cass will be out and about, we'll meet somebody, and she'll be like, They were so nice. And I'm like, Yeah, they're showing you a facade of who they are the perfect version of themselves, but watch how they treat their significant other. Watch how they treat their siblings. Watch how they treat their kids. How do they treat their family members who are the, actually the closest to them? Judge a person on how they treat their spouse. That's who they really are. Do you agree? Chat, let me know if you agree, because that's how I think you really should judge somebody off, how they treat the people they love, not, not acquaintances or like friends. <laughs> it's actually hilarious. Ain't no way in hell I'm leaving my man. I'm not here to judge anybody doing this 4B movement, but telling people to divorce their husbands is crazy. It's First stupid. of all, stupid. this is the type of movement that is never going to work if every woman in America is not on board. What's going to happen is that a handful of y'all are going to leave your husbands and end up miserable and alone while your mm -hmm. husband is laid up with somebody new. I'm just pointing out the obvious. Like I just seen a video and the lady was like, divorce your husbands immediately if you can scary amount of women on there that was like yep 
Mm-hmm. I've been telling everybody to divorce their husbands. And then she went on to tell people to poison, schmurder their husbands. Oh, yeah, with this uh, Aqua Tofana thing. If you don't know what it is, I did a previous episode on this. Like, I think it's the first part or second part of this series. But yeah, Aqua Tofana is like a homemade poison. It's crazy. Ma'am, you're advocating for schmurder. No yeah. one sees an issue with that. And then, re- again, a scary amount of comments like, yep, yep, yep. Please educate me. I'm genuinely having a hard time wrapping my mind around what purpose is that serving? Now, me personally, I'm not married. I do have a man, a great man. Ain't no way on God's green earth I'm finna leave my man. Is you crazy? I'm genuinely having a hard time wrapping my mind around this concept. In a bigger picture, I really want to point out with this is anybody does have a husband worth divorcing or a man worth leaving. This is what it took for you to leave your man? For real. Well, it's it's always the influence of something extrinsic. It's not. It's never like a internal thing. You're always waiting for someone else to push you to do something. In, in my mind, it's not genuine. If you're waiting for someone else to tell you to do something and you're not just doing it on your own fruition, I, fe- I feel like you're just gullible and you're easily manipulated and you're just letting the media tell you what to do, which is a very slippery slope. Because if you listen to everything that you see on the internet and believe it to be fact and holy script, I just, I don't know, man. I think, I just think you need to be able to think for yourself sometimes. Take all the information, synthesize it, and then make your own, you know, make your own like uh, conclusion based off of the facts and the evidence you've been given. And then do your own research. People stick around for neglect, abuse, mistreatment, cheating, lying. Y'all stayed for that. But this is what it took for you to leave? Genuinely having a hard time grasping. Why why do I need to leave my man to to prove a point to a government that it's not going to give a fuck about us either way it goes? Y'all do realize that, right? I'm just saying. So if that makes me an enemy because I cannot get behind this, I guess I'm an enemy because I'm not leaving my man. The hell? The way my man... We need more women like this, bro. Cass feels the same way, though stands by me supports me lifts me up and loves me in any way shape or form possible i would literally be insane to leave my man i don't care now honestly i'm not gonna hold you i really do feel bad for the men out there that are good men who are waking up today and they women is just like i'm gone done because tiktok told me to Mm -hmm. i really wish y'all would use this these women are very impressionable and I feel like if your woman has been bringing this stuff up, here's the best thing you can do. See how long her screen time is on TikTok. See how long her screen time is on Instagram. Be like, hey, let's check out your screen time. Let's see how much you're on these apps. Because more than likely, if you're on these apps a very long time, you're getting brainwashed. So just be careful what you consume, dude. The same energy to vote for your state reps, state's attorney, judges, things like that, that really is going to make a difference. I'm going to pray for y'all, though. Look, stay in your... I mean, preach to that girl, bro. Like, she she really is just so logical. And I think I think the reason the election went the way it went is because, like, it's the whole based versus woke thing. I don't even think it's Republican versus Democrat. It's like, are you more based or are you more woke? Like, which one are you? And then I feel like that's the way people win. And it is what it is. I'm going to shave all my hair off and I'm going yeah, to I'm gonna be celibate. And I, I'm going to wear this blue bracelet because, um... You know what? It's a magic blue bracelet. <laughs> Girl, no one was gonna No one was gonna touch you anyways. <laughs> Tell them Felicity. You just shaved your head for no reason. So apparently there's this thing called the 4B movement. And I feel like I remember this being a thing after Roe v. Wade was overturned. I don't necessarily know what 4B means, but my 30 seconds of research told me that it's actually a movement proposed by liberal women in protest of Trump being elected. And what- Bro, she has some crazy blue eyes. What does it entail? Oh, madness. And what I mean by madness is refusing to have sex with men that won't, you know, commit, love, support, respect, and marry you, make you their wife. It's insane. Yeah, that's insane, right? Insane. <laughs> what a brand new idea. Who's going to tell them this is actually a very common mindset among conservative women? And dare I say... Tr- oh, well, that she brings up a good point. 
all these liberal left-leaning women are now becoming more conservative. If, if they're making men wait, that's more of a conservative belief. Like I said, it's like they're self-sabotaging their own movement, and it's like the, the purest, most hilarious form of natural selection. It's like actually bringing them to the other side. Like the best brainwashing is when you can make somebody do something and make them feel empowered by it, which is what this movement is. Traditional, <gasps> old fashioned. Oh, so you don't want to potentially procreate with a man who's refusing to commit to raising those children alongside you? Oh, right. You're going to send them a message by upping your standards and lowering the risk that more and more babies are going to be aborted due to your instability in life? Wild. Oh no, don't do that. The conservatives will hate it. <laughs> It's such a bummer that you're gonna weed out the whiny little boys who just wanna lay and leave. That's gonna suck. You go, girl. You know, you uphold those traditional, I mean, leftist feminist nice values. values. The more I hear them. Bro, it's, it's crazy though, but like, <sighs> girl's got a point, man. Girl's got a point. But it is a. If I can't sleep around and then unalive my children, I'm just not gonna sleep around. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done being a hoe. I'm literally retiring. <laughs> you're, you're making me be a better person. You know what? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> like, you're welcome? Like, So what you mean to tell me? <laughs> He's got a point. Is it take for Donald Trump to win as president for a lot of y'all females to say that y'all gonna stop talking to men, y'all gonna stop having one night stands, y'all not finna be whores, basically. So it takes for a new president, which he was already president before, your life was perfectly fine. But it takes for him to become president again, for you to sit down and realize with yourself, I need to stop being the whore. Let me stop being the whore. Why, do, why does it take a new president for y'all to realize to just stop being a whore? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my man's got a point. Oh. Excited about Trump being in office. All look like they scratch and sniff their sack for enjoyment. Evidently, the ones that always look like they knock one out in front of the computer screen in the dark with pork scratching residue still on their fingers. The majority of them look like the last two teeth in the front of their mouth are fighting for their lives to stay there. That leave decorative brown marks in their boxes. And what's mad is I can literally smell them through my phone screen. It's giving tenants and knob cheese. It's evident to me that they're cheering on policies when they cannot actually spell the word policy. It's evident to me that they have no idea why they're cheering on Trump. They just hate a certain type of community. Say it with your chest. Don't hide behind Trump. Cheering for a man that wouldn't know you if he walked past you. But cheering for a man- What's crazy to me is how widespread the US election has even gotten. Like why do women in the UK even care? that would not spit on you if you were engulfed in flames. You are embarrassing yourself. Cheering for a man that doesn't like you. Like, are you not embarrassed? You're not embarrassed because you still walk around in boxes that have had holes for a year and evidently sleep on pillows brown stained. I would urge you to put down your phones and save yourselves. The self-awareness clearly wasn't there. Bro, <laughs> put down your phone, save yourself while you're recording on TikTok. It's absolutely crazy work, bro. This 4B movement really just kind of like blossomed out of nowhere too. It was like, it was just in like South Korea and then now it's just all in the States and all these women are shaving their heads, abstaining from sex, not getting relationships, not having children out of wedlock. And it's like, you're actually becoming more conservative. I, I don't know if you realize that, but it's like I said, it's the, it's like the, the great reset of the modern dating market. It's like, oh wow, you're not, com you're not like, Hopping in bed with guys and letting them blow their cheese in your bareback and having their kids outside of marriage. Like, oh no. <laughs> it's so... Like, they really think they're sticking it to guys, though. Guys can still, like, go out there and get relationships with conservative girls. There's a lot of conservative girls. Let's, let's see. What's the percentage? Percentage of liberal versus conservative women. Let's just see what the percentage is. U.S. women have become more liberal. Men mostly stable. So what's the percentage though? Um, I want to see if there's like a direct percentage of, are women more Republican or Democrat? Okay, let's see. Voting gender gap, let's see here. These aren't giving me percentages. You guys know I'm slow. I'm pretty stupid. stupid. So I need like, I need numbers here. Okay, this looks, this looks a little bit better. Women, 40%, it seems like are left. Men, 25% are left. More young women also identify as liberal than moderate. Young men are slightly more likely to identify as conservative than liberal, which moderate 44. Abortion rights, women aged 18 to 29. Let's see here. The big picture. 
Uh, in a poll, 71% of Democratic college students said they wouldn't go on a date with someone who voted for the... Oppo- this is crazy work. 70% said they wouldn't go on a date with somebody that voted for someone else. Imagine someone saying, I like Pepsi, and you being like, uh-uh, I like Coke. <laughs> and the fact that they like Pepsi, I will not even go out on a date with them. <laughs> to me, that is so silly. Just because of like one thing that somebody believes in, you're just going to base their entire personality off of it. To me, that's a sign of a low IQ. I feel like you don't have good deductive reasoning if you're just going to base an entire judgment on someone based off of who they voted for. I've said this before. I don't care who you voted for. And really, who wins? It's like, it's like cool. It's going to be four years, and it's going to be over, and we're going to be on to the next one. It seems like in America, we go Democrat, Republican, Democrat, Republican. It just flip-flops. We're like, oh, we're sick of it this way. Oh, we're sick of it this way. Oh, we're It's like... It's like, cool, dude, we're just going to have somebody else. It is what it is. There's nothing we can do. Just go out and vote. Do your thing. It's just so crazy to me. But it's interesting to see how much how much change is going to go through the dating market right now. Women are shaving their heads, abstaining from men. But the thing is, all the conservative women are still going after men. And they're going to start families and be in relationships. So all the babies that are born are going to be born more, like, more than likely in nuclear families to conservative parents. Which is <laughs> just like... Like, you ladies are self-sabotaging. You're getting yourself out of the gene pool, and we didn't have to make you do it. You're doing it on your own. It's just so wild to me, bro. It's so wild to me that they think it's so empowering when it's like, you're doing it to yourself. If you really wanted the movement to be strong, you should be having kids and growing your families to get them to believe what you believe. But it seems like a lot of Democratic and liberal women don't want Democratic and liberal men. I don't know. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm out of pocket for that. Maybe I'm wrong. But chat, let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time? He's so sleepy, dude. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the two eBooks, the four pillars of personality, and the four steps to style that make you irresistible to women and respected by men. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.